all, you probably clicked on this video because you love edible gardening. And this is my mommy, Mama Lee. She loves gardening. She's done a gardening kick since last year of spring 2018. And this is our second year doing it. And by our, I mean hers because this is all of her work. What's a garden without bees and butterflies? Instead of having just the backyard only for gardening, we also use some of our front to grow flowers for the bees and butterflies. Oh, look, those two are friends. We wouldn't have a successful garden without the bees and the butterflies. Except for you, white butterfly, you are not invited to this little garden party we're having for the bees and butterflies. So without doxing my whole house, here's a shot of some peppers really zoomed in. They're really red now. The way my mom organized the backyard is based on lighting and she uses trellis arches to keep the fruit off the ground. Just vertical gardening to maximize the space. And also we used to have really tall trees in this corner here until my mom cut them down. This is compost. Also, please don't compost uneaten sandwiches or you'll attract snakes. In the far back of our yard, Mia grows bitter melon. She obtained the seeds from a community garden 10 minutes away from our house. And when the gourd turns orange, that's when you know there's seeds inside ready to take out and regrow again for the next year. Before we get to the green beans, Maya is going to demonstrate how to manually pollinate squash flowers for when the bees are not around. sound of recorded cicadas are so annoying. We grow our mint in an old wheelbarrow to keep it away from our other plants since it's so invasive. Moving on, we have our tomatoes. Everyone loves tomatoes in our family, including Micah, our guinea pig. So shown here, we have sun gold tomatoes and sweet million tomatoes. If you want a lot of little cherry tomatoes, you have to get the sweet millions. Rio Grande tomato, and it's determinate because it won't get any taller. Its growth is stunt right there, under five feet. <laughs> wow, the birds were chirping and everything. It's too good to be true. Okay. About a week later, the bigger tomatoes have already ripened, and look, I got a manicure, see? A. So it is the late summer, middle July, late July kind of thing, so we are just tomato happy here. Like, there are just so many tomatoes in our yard, gosh. Another bunch is ready to harvest. Hidden tomatoes in here. There are too many spider webs. Uh -uh. What are we supposed to do with all this? Make tomato soup, I guess? Sure. It is time for a wicker basket update. So sweet. I'm yeah, gonna go on the other side and get the, um... Hmm? Try? Okay. I'm gonna go on the other if side you have and get the other side. Right you should try. They are really sweet. Yeah. Why are you guys wearing gardening stuff? The mosquito bite. Yeah. It's deep in the back. It, it would come in far. We're shooting this as of July. Yeah, this one looks like a leaf of the heart. Oh, we can get it up there when it has 
splash. Let's get out of here, Mr. Mosquito. See, it's a heart shape. Oh, God, push out. Spinach. And then, this is Malibar, and he loves the heat. He loves his plane. Those are okra. This is on our north facing window, too. Maria Zuma. North facing squash. side. BB squash. Right next to that BB squash. Look how big this squash yeah. is. Yummy Molly. <laughs> Shade loving plant. What are we picking here? This is green beans. Look over here. There's a lot of green beans. Oh yeah, underneath the arch it we have a green. lot of green beans. Here's a purple one. <laughs> Here's a bean just dangling right there. so good when they're stir fried. Mm -hmm. it's, it's beating. Oh, purple beans. When you cook them, they turn green. Hey, hey girl. Maybe you want to help go over there and get the tomatoes. I see two of those. Molly took down here. There's a whole bunch right here. Hey. And watch out. Hey. 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 Eat the seeds, but the flowers are red. Yeah, look at these. All these. Scarlet, right? Did you spray them? Did you spray, did you spray, did you spray bug spray? Yeah. Cook them. This one is too old. You can eat the seeds. Hey, what? You need to get bug spray. I don't have the You see shishito? The people eat barbecue, wrap them. So, so this is, really big. what's it called again? Shishito? Shishito. Oh, it's a, I don't know. It's called sesame leaf. You have to look it up. Those are the catnip catnip for my favorite neighborhood cat to come over and get high now. Okay. Elephant ears. What do we... in the stock. Oh, that's so... a small watermelon. It's like a tiny, itty bitty watermelon. It's a BB watermelon. <laughs> I know you can't see it yet, but a purple eggplant is gonna show up. Here it is. We have not harvested yet. Yeah. What is the holy basil? It smells really good. Have you had it smells like blueberries. <laughs> oh, you're all right. That's so sweet. <laughs> you're like, wow. Basket update number two and a cicada break because the sound of cicadas are so heck of annoying. So here my mom is explaining how we grow this one plant for all the bugs who attack it so they don't attack the other leaves from our vegetables. And that is a kale, spinach, whatever. Some more plants. I don't know what that is yet. I have to ask my mom. Maybe more lettuce? <laughs> This is a sweet potato plant. Yep. You can't see the sweet potato because it's underneath. But Our guinea love pig Micah loves to eat them too. And they love the heat. Yes. You need to say heat loving plant, water loving plant. Those because never everything go in our backyard is placed a certain way, especially shape, light wise. This is so grainy, but that's okra. This is basil. Italian basil. That's I have Italian the Thai basil. basil. You want Thai basil? For our Asians. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thai basil. Our guinea pig likes those better than the Italian one. Because we're going to get mama. Yes. You zoom down the bottom. I have some, some more baby down here ready to come up. 
like an Egyptian. <laughs> Who named this? It's, it's like a go over there. Oh, okay. This is a sunflower. It's Since it's mid-July, it done dried up in the crisp beans. This is called uh, the Humphrey. We need this fertilizer to collect mineral from the soil. Bring it to the leaf and you chop up and put it on your, in your garden. You found a big one of something. Let me pretend that I'm working. <laughs> this is a poe bean, not a log bean. This is a poe bean. Yes. Why? And you can get this from the online Asian blogs. A hobby you held on and for yes <laughs> going to see a therapist. This is back to a therapy. And now if you want to water it's a heat you go in early in the morning you don't have any problem. It's like when you're walking a dog in the early morning or the very late afternoon. Do it before sundown when it's like leisure walk time, but you know, it's not gonna be a piping 90 to 100 degrees out. It's like a good late 70s. Bean, when we cook them, it turns green. Final basket update this is just two days worth of harvesting. garden tour thank you for watching and if you have any questions you can leave a comment down below or if you have an urgent question you can dm me at maria x din and i can text my mom your question we're making the thumb oh my gosh the light we're making the thumbnail behind the scenes this is this? gonna be towards the end of the video yeah.